The ocean, the home of fish, fish that are strange. Rain. Rain. Factorio, not a game, but rather a simulation. Every year as you get older, gaming gets more boring. You find yourself alone, seeking thrills and danger. danger. For a change of pace, I decided to play some Factorio C Block. It's an experience that will make you say, no, but really, this game. Water truly is our greatest ally against Florida. Roving bandits, incest, and drowning are some of the many dangers dotting the move. There's a lot of guides online to C-Block. We won't be using any of them because the joy in life lay in discovery. So put on your bathing suit. We're going to get wet. When you first get started, you have nothing. But there's not enough space to put anything down. It's not a boulder, it's a rock. Notice that there isn't a lot of room. Nearby, there are bugs. Take your sand and put it into your inventory. Expand. Eat. 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 I didn't know what to do with the things in my inventory and I didn't want to waste anything, so I did some reading. Eventually I had run out of sand. Since I play only Vanilla Factorio, most of the resources were foreign to me. But I figured if I wanted to get any further, I'd need more land. And that meant more sand. Crushed stone. You need to learn the game by playing backwards. Sand requires crushed stone. Crushed stone requires slag. How do you get slag? Well, 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 you need water, and we have a lot of that. I wanted to be organized, so I picked out a spot near the bottom of my main landmass. I built two offshore pumps, and then I made an electrolyzer. But now, power. What did I have? Wind turbines. Desiring to keep everything neat, I decided that one trip would be my electrolyzer island, and the other would be my wind island. A 4x4 four four wind turbine grid. Majestic. Majestic. Truly, this was the height of human creation. But wait. Power was ready. Water into slag. Chemistry and science. Don't worry, I'll explain that later. There's a lot of complex inputs in this you won't understand. Finding the next item in the chain of production. This is more fun than making the most efficient setup to me. It was time to place the burner ore crusher. The fun of C-Block is the fact that, with limited resources, if you mess up, you truly do run into a brick wall, and your playthrough ends because you didn't manage your resources right. The only thing that can kill you is your own stupidity. Without access to coal, I'd need cellulose fiber. How do you get cellulose fiber? I hate this stuff. It's the one item that makes C-Block torture. Literally, there is not enough in the sea to power a factory. And I mean it, I hate this. There isn't enough power in the ocean. Stay on land next time. Nonetheless, the process began. If you want to take water and turn it from nothing into something, there's an awful lot of crap you need to go through. So I started testing things out and building more land. I made one of everything to see what everything did. Crystallizer. Couldn't use that yet. Flare stack. I could burn the excess chemicals, but did I want to? So many questions. Three days had already passed. But it's almost like there's some quiet, introspective, geometric realization that occurs when you first power up your factory. And it's a moment worth savoring, to feel like you've finally asserted basic right angles over the natural chaos. It's a beautiful feeling. And to me, Factorio is about playing slowly and quietly appreciating the beauty of the geometries, rather than trying to quickly rush to the next thing. More than anything else, with an open ocean before me, a work of art. Crafting some wood pellets, I decided it would be safe to burn the gases since I in theory had an unlimited supply of water. That set off my wind turbines working harder than ever. But now I was producing slag. Glorious slag. And the burners? Pollution. Glorious pollution. 
I still wasn't sure how the biters were going to come into this equation, but I'd need mineralized water if I wanted to make the next product. I'd been given the bare minimum to start, so I removed one of my pumps and I replaced it in another location, creating mineralized water and using my burner ore crusher by hand. I could feed in wood pellets and slag. That's all to say, this was extremely complex, and I am extremely smart. Too much for my own good. And so, using the bare minimum of items that had been given to me, I was able to create sapphirite ore and styrotite ore. Neither of these did I have any idea what they did, but I needed them for research, and I created another burner to crush styrotite ore. Was it efficient? No. But I'd finished my research, and there's a set order of research you need to complete with this start. I expanded the land, making way for a new algae farm. Again, I had no idea what this did. It takes in water and it makes algae. Simple enough. But again, I just didn't have the pipes for it, so it meant reusing what I already had. It was working, though. I placed some lights down because at this point in time, I'd earned it. And I grew southward with my windmills. A satisfying new array. Then it was time to go back and check on the factory. With the brown algae completed, it's time for circuit boards. We could make these with wooden boards and copper cables. Cellulose fiber, algynic acid, many new things I didn't recognize, to be honest. The closest parallel I can think of to playing C-Block is like being a vegan, and you have all of these hippie substitutes. It feels like trying to build a Lincoln Log house. But instead of Lincoln Logs, it's a bunch of recycled napkins you found from, say, Starbucks, for example. Somehow I made a circuit board from all this. Finally, something that I recognized. Red science. Now the real game began. Inserters, belts, things began to look more familiar. But I left this phase with some sadness. I love Factoria when there's still only one of everything and it's simple to understand and see at a glance. To have an entire factory on one screen. That was about to end. Automation was next. And now it was normal science all the way across. My factory was off to a steady purr and like a cat beside the fire I scratched at it. But Factorio is not a cat. However, there was an itch. And if I've ever learned anything from playing Factorio, it's that one is never enough. I dismantled the whole factory. Back to square one. A quiet falls over. This time it would be more offshore pumps. I could scale the electrolyzers. And I could neaten my setup from the mess it had been before. Now I could handle the gases in a more uniform manner and produce slag in mass. I still felt like it wasn't perfect, but it was good enough. I always enjoy seeing different people's factory designs because it reveals the way that their minds work. Mine is a mess. And on the belts, the slag was sliding. The hands were grabbing. And the labs were thinking, producing science. And after working for what seemed like ages, had finally reached automation. Now I could automate land creation. My next move would be to create cellulose fiber for power. This is essentially coal. My setup was a little awkward at first, but that's because you need to think efficiently with the little land that's given to you. You can obviously see a lot of flaws in this setup, but more important than anything else, I had gotten started making landfill. With landfill being automatically created, my imagination could start to roam. Now my island would expand, but it wasn't expanding fast enough. I need to scale this production. But there were some things that I had to create which I loathed, hated, and didn't understand. Wood, for example. Why so many steps just to get to a block of wood? As it turns out, it takes almost the same amount of electricity to make wood as it does to power the creation of wood. Just, I know that sounds like crazy talk, but that's because it is. It led me to constructions others might deem non-standard. Non but slowly, very slowly, a snowballing effect was beginning to take shape. It's immensely satisfying to watch your factory grow and take form, even on the very land itself. As I worked, I became an extremely busy bee. But so far, no bee has created an island out of nothing. That is to say, I was more than a busy bee. Or, busier than the busiest bee. But at this point in the factory, a new glaring problem started to stare me in the eye. Normally, power is a fairly simple process. Build over the resources you need, and then take them, like I did with this tree. Booyah! Lots of wood. Nice, right? There are only about four trees in this game mode, though. And the power starts to struggle along from the algae power. I reached the point where I was making a lot of land in my factory. A whole hell of a lot of land. But that was it. That, 
That's literally all that the factory did, it just produced land, and that I couldn't make arms anymore. But I had learned to use the space more efficiently. Power poles were less spaghetti-ish and more efficient. As it turns out, being really efficient is important when you don't have any space to work with. And being really power efficient is bad for the local fish. Using all of the new landfill, I began to expand toward iron and copper production. My power was still somewhat sporadic, but it was becoming more efficient. If I could play again, the moment I started, I would have crafted 10,000 cellulose fiber though. You really need a lot of this stuff to fuel your factory when you don't have coal. You don't have anything. And on the one hand, while I hadn't created the most efficient factory, every tile of land I placed gave me more headspace to think. Since failure is not an option, I began resorting to more and more outlandish strategies in order to improve the factory. You see, at this point in the challenge, the challenge was algae. Algae is weak. The fact of the matter is that I once was a vegan. I gave up because I got really hungry. And with the massive paucity of trees in nature, you will spend almost the entire time in C-Block searching for more power. And like a twisted Babylonian king, you will resort to more and more dehumanizing construction projects that eventually lead you to feel more machine than man. It do be that way. For instance, can you imagine spending one hour, one entire hour, in order to produce one more iron plate per second? After you're finally able to produce that extra iron plate, suddenly your entire factory has run out of power and rubber banded back into your original state. At this point, I did start to look up a couple of guides on Factorio C-Block because it ain't easy. Dealing with mixed outputs, mixed inputs, and trying your best to not hurt yourself because you finally feel like you got so close to what you needed while still maintaining composure, composure. is no small task for the average troglodyte. Most of you will not complete this challenge. There is, however, one man who did complete this challenge. I looked up his YouTube series. That series has 120 videos. Impressive. Impressive. Now I'm going to try to give you some advice that only I can give you as someone who has try-hearted his way through the first 10 or 15 hours of Factorio C-Block. Don't use ethanol as your primary fuel source. Plant-based fuels are simply worse. Though there was one moment, though I did hang my frustration up at one point with the factory that just couldn't sustain itself, apparently charcoal is just slightly, slightly better than cellulose. But charcoal is not the same as coal, nor will it ever be. It's like the difference between a large, thick, luscious napkins that we used to use to wipe our mouths and the new recycled napkins that inhabit our daily regime. I would recommend that you go from island to island, as I'll now show. And perhaps you'll take some advantage of the local wildlife. Explore the sea by building bridges across. Eventually you'll acquire trees and maybe you can even start your own tree farm. Unfortunately it won't really help that much. I would also recommend follow consume, my Twitch. Become a follow member my today. Consume. I will not Eat ask in my again. Discord. Buy all my everyone stuff. you know about my channel. Buy all Become of your a member like every post today. I've buy ever made. Me. And buy. like all of my videos. Buy your soul. Why? Only 5% of you are subscribed. subscribed. You need to get those numbers up. Why? Why? Only 69% of my audience Why? is actually me. Why? 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 Why